So this video is on the Cross County Trout Stream. I literally think the only time I've ever been in the Cross County was when I drove through it on I-90. So I know very, very little about any of these trout streams. But anyways, the same as these other videos, this is trout survey data that was collected by Electrofishing. They, the trout per mile is calculated, calculated by taking the amount of trout they catch over a certain distance and then converting that to the distance of a mile. And it's a common way that the abundance of trout is quantified in streams. And I have categorized them as the number of brook trout per mile, brook trout over 10 inches per mile, largest brook trout per mile, brown trout per mile, brown trout over 12 inches per mile, brown trout over 16 inches per mile, and largest brown trout per mile. And I have separated this into different, separated it into a by creek in this county. So the first creek is Smith Valley Creek. Smith Valley Creek has brook trout in it. It has some decent sized brook trout, but a lot of them are small. The largest brook trout caught was 10 and a half inches, and there was two surveys conducted on the stream in 2016. The next stream is Bridal Cooley Creek, and this stream has both brook trout and brown trout in it, but all the trout that were caught out of this stream were pretty small. I'm assuming this is just a small creek too though, so that's probably why most of the fish are also pretty small. The next creek is John's Cooley Creek, and this flows out of another coulee, and this stream has a lot of brown trout in it and some brook trout, and then in this creek the trout are all really small also. The next creek is Wrestler Cooley Creek. This stream has a lot of brown some brown trout in it. I don't know why the pounds per mile is very high. That's probably a mistake. I'll have to go and check that out before I post this video or just remove it. But anyways, the largest brown trout they caught was 12.1 inches. The next creek is Pleasant Valley Creek. Pleasant Valley Creek has a few brook trout in it. It had one survey conducted in 2018. The next creek is Creek 20-1. In this creek, I don't even know what the name of it is. Is that just what the DNR categorizes it as? And this stream has a few brook trout and brown trout in it. The next stream is St. Joseph Cooley Creek. And St. Joseph Cooley Creek has a, an okay population of brown trout, although none of them are large. The next creek is Russian Cooley Creek. And Russian Cooley Creek has brook, a few brook trout and a lot of brown trout in it, but the brown trout in it are pretty small. The next stream is Tol Tolson Cooley Creek. Tolson Cooley Creek was surveyed in 2018. It has a few brook trout in it and some brown trout. And the largest brown trout was 10.4 inches and the largest brook trout was 8.2 inches. Garber's Cooley Creek has both brook trout and brown trout in it. And it was surveyed once in 2018. The largest brook trout was 9.4 inches and the largest brown trout was 11.6 inches. Smith Valley Creek has some brook trout in it. It has quite a few brook trout in it actually and it was surveyed twice in 2016. And the largest brook trout caught was 10.5 inches. Sand Creek was surveyed once in 2016 and it has a good population of brook trout in it, but all the brook trout in it are really small. Pamela Creek was surveyed once in 20, twice in 2014 and once in 2016. Pamela Creek has a decent popula a good population of brook trout, but the largest one was 9.8 inches, but it has no brown trout. Nushanik Creek was surveyed twice in, three times in 2017 and once in 2014. And Nishanik Creek has a good population of brook trout and a couple brown trout in it, although the largest brook trout caught was 9.9 .9 inches. Mormon Cooley Creek has a book named after it, and it has had a lot of surveys done on it. And this stream has a lot of brown trout in it, 
it has some decent sized brown trout. It has a lot of small to medium sized brown trout. I think this was surveyed at like five different spots and there's another slide on it too. I think the largest brown trout cut out of these surveys was 20.6 inches at a walking bridge. At Potato King, the trout seem to be pretty small sized and there seem to be fewer trout than at the walking bridge or at Private Cooley. And in the continued one, there was a couple other places with this survey. And basically what all these surveys say is regardless of year, there's a lot of brown trout in this stream. There's a lot of medium sized brown trout. And there's a few larger brown trout. So if you were in La Crosse County and wanted to fish for brown trout, this would be a stream that I would suggest going to. Because this has a very high population of brown trout at some of the locations. The next creek is Larson Cooley Creek. Larson Cooley Creek has a good population of brook trout and some brown trout. The largest brook trout caught was 12.2 inches and largest brown trout caught was 8.9 inches and it was surveyed at three locations in 2018. I'm sorry I don't have newer surveys. This is just some data I had sitting around and I just decided I was going to do something else with it, but I just decided to make it into YouTube videos and show places where there's lots of trout. The next creek is Fish Knack Creek, and I'm sure there's an, you'll get a knack for catching fish out of Fish Knack Creek. And this stream has a lot of brook trout in it and some brown trout. It was surveyed once in 2016. The largest brook trout they caught was 10 inches, and the largest brown trout they caught was 12.5 inches. The next stream is Fish Creek, and I'm sure Fish Creek has a lot of fish in it because that's why it's called Fish Creek. And this stream was surveyed twice in 2018. And this stream has some brown, brook trout in it and a good population of brown trout. It was the largest brook trout that was caught was 10.6 inches. Or 10 inches. And the largest brown trout that was caught was 13.7 inches. Next creek is Eggins Cooley Creek, and Eggins Cooley Creek has a lot of brook trout, but the, the brook trout in it are pretty small and was surveyed twice in 2015. The next creek is Dutch Creek, and Dutch Creek has both brook trout and brown trout, and it has more brown trout than brook trout, but most of the fish are pretty small. The largest brown trout caught was 10.6, and the largest brook trout caught was 3.6 inches. The next creek is Coon Creek, and th I think this is a pretty popular stream in La Crosse County, too. I do not know what it's like as a stream. This stream has, this stream was surveyed at multiple locations in multiple years. This stream has some brook trout in it and a lot of brown trout in it. The size of the brown trout, I think, are pretty small based on the surveys or the max size. But there's a lot of medium sized fish. That's why the pounds per mile is pretty high, although the maximum size is only like 14 inches in a lot of these surveys. This is probably definitely a stream you want to go to for action with brown trout or if you want to catch brown trout. I don't know what this stream is like, but I definitely have heard of the people this being a popular stream in the Driftless area. And the surveys show that it has a quality population of brown trout. And here's more surveys on Coon Creek, which continue to show that it has a quality population of brown trout, but the largest fish are like 14 inches and it has some brook trout in it. So this would definitely be a stream to try if you want to catch brown trout. The next creek is Burns Creek. Burns Creek has a good population of both brook and brown trout. This was surveyed in a whole bunch of locations in 2015. 
It has about equal numbers of brick and brown trout. It actually probably has a few more brook trout in it than brown trout. The largest brook trout that they caught was 12.2 inches. And the largest brown trout that I can see is 13.3, but there may be a larger one than that behind where I can see. And the next creek is Adams Valley Stream Creek. And Adams Valley Creek has a lot of brook trout in it and a few brown trout. Although the largest size brook trout was 9.3 inches and the largest size brown trout was 8.5 inches from the two surveys that were conducted in 2015. The next creek is Burge Cooley Creek. And Birch Cooley Creek has a good population of brown trout in it, but most of them are pretty small. The largest one they caught was 12.1 inches. And this might be the last creek, but it is Bostwick Valley Creek. And Bostwick Valley Creek was sampled in a, at a bunch of spots in 2018, and they caught some brook trout and a lot of brown trout. And the, they actually caught some pretty good sized brown trout in this survey too. The, they caught an 18.5 incher, which is pretty good size for these streams. So this would also be a stream that would be worthwhile trying if you want to catch brown trout. And here's the source of where I got this data from.